Oh. Hey y'all, my name is Nick and welcome back to State of Woods Co. I have an awesome, huge new tool in the shop and I want to show you what it is right now. I gotta get down though. I am fixing to start unboxing a Nova 51 from Thunder Laser USA. This is a heck of a unit and I'm really excited about it. The Nova is going to come really well crated in this massive crate and it takes a lot to offload it and we'll get to that here in a second. The crate itself spans 61 and a half inches wide and it measures in at 90 inches long so just under 8 feet. Now this is going to max out the back of a semi truck or a box truck the way that it comes in with shipping. And I will admit, this thing is very, very heavy. My tractor is rated for like 1,300 pounds and it didn't want to pick it up. On Thunder Laser's website, it says that you may need to rent a forklift for offloading this. It did come through for us on the back of a truck with a lift gate, but the lift gate situation was very sketchy. It was a little nerve wracking because this maxed out the gate and you had about 12 to 16 inches hanging off the front. It may be smart to have a backup plan to get it off the truck. Not all trucks are going to come with two pallet jacks like the one that we had. So we got lucky. Okay, I don't want to wait anymore. I want to crack this baby open and see what's inside. Let's get to it. Whoa. That's massive. Wow, this thing is huge. This is awesome. So at first glance, it looks like they do a really good job of crating their equipment. Everything looks to be really nice and padded. They've got good big supports here with a lot of thick foam. So it looks like it made the trip really, really well. They do a, a good job of securing their loads here. All this stuff looks really well secured with all the saran wrap. So we've got the electrical air compressor. We've got toolbox with all of our tools in it. Here is the chiller to keep everything nice and cool. And it looks like we've got hose and everything. Inline fan for the exhaust and the hose for the exhaust. So I'll go ahead and put this where it's going and we'll get this thing off the pallet. Now your next task is to figure out how to get the machine off of the pallet. The machine does come with casters underneath so it should be able to roll out once you undo all of the supports that are holding it in place. Now don't do like me and be completely gung-ho and just rip your crate all to shreds because what you can actually do is use the wall of the crate as a ramp to be able to offload it safely. What I'm going to do is take the other side, put it right here, block it up with some scrap plywood and uh, pieces of hardwood, and I'm just going to roll it right off. Hopefully. That's the plan anyway. I'm just screwing some extra screws into the pallet so that this crate doesn't want to slide when I try to pull this machine off. All right, should be good. So I do highly recommend using the wall of your crate as the exit ramp to get this unit off the pallet. It made life so simple. Just putting a couple screws here or there just to make sure that that ramp doesn't slide out and putting the scrap wood underneath it just made life so easy that one person could do it. I would probably have two just in case, in case something wants to start moving around, but it's easy enough for one person to do. So now all I've got to do is get rid of all of that pallet and plywood 
and then I can put her in her final location. One thing I do want to mention is that if you have to move your machine around the shop or the home for any reason, make sure to just leave the saran wrap on it. That helps to make sure that all these doors and parts don't just start opening and falling off while you're in transit. But now that it's in its final home, I'm just going to rip this thing open and see what it's actually about. That's awesome. Holy cow. So my initial thoughts of the Thunder Laser Nova 51 through the unboxing process was that everything came in perfectly protected. The crate was really nice, all the packaging with the foam, even inside of the CO2 laser tube area, everything was very well protected. So there was no worries with that. Everything on the purchase order was included in the crate. So everything that I asked for was right here when I needed it, which I really, really like about this thing. The next video I'm gonna release is on this Thunder Laser, and it's gonna be the things that you need to know and the items that you have to have on hand prior to getting your machine set up for the first time. Now this is going to be an important video because these are items that Thunder Laser does not send to you in the kits. It's things that you need to know and have ready for when your machine gets dropped off. Now if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and like and comment this video. If you have a topic for another laser video or a Thunder Laser video that you want to see, leave it in the comments below and I may just include it in one of the next upcoming YouTube videos. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and start firing this bad boy up and I will see you guys on the next video.